Hello everybody, welcome to AC Milan TV News. My name is Bruno, and this week we start off very hectic for AC Milan. And I think it's going to be a little bit crazy for a few weeks, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we're heavily linked with uh, multiple players for the midfield, and it kind of makes sense because we need reinforcements for the midfield. Uh, Maldini is kind of trying to figure out what kind of players are going to fit into John Paulo's formation. And as you know, we need not only starters for midfield, but also subs. So multiple players are going to be linked to us. Um, and the reason why this is happening is because, if you think about it, Maldini is doing research on these, on these players. And not every single player that Maldini wants will come into AC Milan. We can be negotiating with a player for two weeks and nothing happens. So Maldini needs backup. So he needs multiple negotiations to be happening at the same time. And that's why we're be linked to so many players. And I guess that makes sense. Um, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what kind of players are coming in, what kind of players we're actually linked will come in. Um, and like I said, you know, you can be negotiating with a player for two weeks, three weeks, and nothing happens. You know, it just falls away and it, it, they don't come in. So keep that in mind when you see all these rumors and speculations. Now, let's talk about the midfielders that I mentioned. Okay, there is Jordan Veretu. Uh, Sensi, let's see who else, Pellegrini, and Cabellos, okay? I want to talk about these four right now, and if there's any more players uh, linked to us, let me know. Um, I, want to, I want to say, though, that I don't think we're going to be bringing, before I start talking about the players, I don't think we're going to be bringing any forwards in or strikers. I don't think we're going to be bringing necessarily any defenders because we, we're so, we need so many midfielders that it doesn't make sense, especially that we have the, our problem with our financial fair play. We don't have, our budget is not that big. So I think the midfield is going to be the focus for this summer. If we bring a, a defender in, I wouldn't be surprised. But I don't think more than one. I don't think more than one will come in. It's going to be very, very unlikely. And I don't think Milan wants to buy you know six, seven players right now. I think it's going to be three or four players for this summer. So... Well, let's start with uh, Veretout, okay? Veretout, um, he's a very good player, uh, very good in defense, very good offense. He can shoot from far, score goals. He can. He has a killer pass, the long distance pass. He has the short distance as well. He's a vision, you know? And I think that's something we lacked at AC Milan last year. I think we, we lack that um, a vision, that creativity. You know, other than the Paqueta, when Paqueta is not playing, who does that, you know? All in, yeah, and Chalnoglu sometimes, but Chalnoglu is a hit and miss uh, most of the time. So without Paqueta there, we miss that creativity. And Bonaventura as well, you know? Bonaventura has been injured for such a long time that we almost forget that he's there. But, you know, we need somebody like Veretu on our team. Uh, he does play in the center uh, midfield on the right side, which is where Cassier plays. So if he does come in, I think Cassier might be on the, his way out. Now, Veretu is 26 year old. He is a little bit above the age that Ismail wants to buy. Ismail wants to buy players between 20 and 25 to make them a better player and be able to sell them later for more profit, which it makes sense. But. Maldini kind of identifies Veretout as a player that will fit and benefit AC Milan. So I wouldn't be surprised if Maldini does put an offer for Veretout. I think he's worth around $30 million right now. And I don't think Maldini will come up with $30 million right away. I think he'll lowball them, try to lowball at $20 million or $25 million. But I think, he, I think Veretout is a player that's, um, that Maldini very much likes. So... I wouldn't be surprised if he puts an offer in for Vita too. So moving on from that, let's talk about Sensi. So no other progress has been going on with Sensi. Uh, it's the same deal. Uh, Sassuolo wants $25 million. AC Milan does not want to pay $25 million. They see him more as a $15 million player. Um, do I think he's still going to come in? Yes, I think Sensi will come into AC Milan. Maldini really rates him. But... We're in this difficult situation right now where, you know, the 10 million uh, difference that we got to maybe AC Milan will offer 20 million. They will accept it. Who knows? Um, 
but something has to be done because or else he's going to stay as a swallow. I don't think that's going to happen. I think he'll be a AC Milan player next year. But let's wait and see. Now, Pellegrini. Pellegrini is a little bit harder. Uh, he is also 30 million euros release clause. Uh, I think he's more of a question mark player. He is very... I feel like he's a little bit inconsistent. I don't think he's... He's very good on his day. He could have really bad days. And... I, I don't know if you'll be uh, a um, automatic starter for uh, AC Milan like Vitetou will be. Vitetou will be straight away, come in, you're going to start the games. Um, uh, Pellegrini, I'm not sure. He might be a sub. He might come in. He might start some games. He might not start some games. Who knows? Um, so I'm, not, I'm excited but not very excited for Pellegrini. And Cabellos from... Uh, Real Madrid, a uh, very young player, very skillful player, a lot of potential, very good midfielder. Uh, he scored a very good goal against Italy uh, this past week, um, U20, U21. Like I said, uh, great things about him. Every, everybody says great things about him. He's mostly a bench player for Real Madrid. Buying him is going to be very expensive. Uh, he's going to be on a big wage. I don't think he's right now the right fit for AC Milan. I, if we get him, I applaud uh, Maldini because it's going to be a lot of money. But um, I think we could do better. I think we could do all the players that are not going to break the bank. I think he will break the bank for us, especially that we have problems with UEFA right now. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to go, go get him now. So moving on from that, I want to talk about a little bit about Cutrone because the situation is Cutrone has been linked with multiple uh, moves away from San Siro. I mean, swap deals, uh, money, everything. Like, I'm a little bit disappointed about that. I like Cutrone a lot. I don't think he's a starter. If Andrea Silva stays, I think Andrea Silva should start with Piontek, not Cutrone. I think Cutrone is too much like Piontek. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, like I said, swap deals everywhere. Everywhere. I'm talking about Cagliari with Barella. Uh, with uh, Sensi as well. He was linked with a swap deal with Sassuolo and Sensi. Which I don't think that's going to happen. Um, what else? Fiorentina wants him. So there's so much there. And... I really don't want to lose him, but it looks like he might go because, you know, there's so much speculation over Cutrone. You know, um, I want to hear you guys' opinion on that. If you guys wouldn't mind losing Cutrone, I I think he'll be a great player for us to keep. But if he goes, you know, if he starts every game, wherever he goes, I'll be happy for him. I think he'll be, you know, he'll be a great player in the future. I don't think he's the player we need right now, so... We'll see what happens. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like the video. Comment below. Subscribe. And um, I did make a Twitch account for this this uh, this channel. It's brand new. There's only one follower right now. Uh, I'll be posting stuff there soon. But please follow there. I'm going to put the, uh, the information down below. So check it out. And follow me, okay? All right. Thank you. Bye.